In the middle of a high profile case, city leaders and community members say they're ready for a new leader with a clear focus as LMPD Chief of Police Steve Conrad looks to retire. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Shay McAllister. Doug has the day off. Tonight, Gebra Gedgis spoke with Louisville's Fraternal Order of Police and Brianna Taylor's attorneys who share what their hopes are moving forward. It is uh, a step in toward the right direction in terms of pursuit for um, justice for Breonna Taylor, as well as the city of Louisville. We feel this is something that, that's been needed. Lanita Baker is one of the attorneys representing Breonna Taylor's family. On Monday, she was joined by dozens outside Taylor's apartment where they laid a wreath and flowers. The community is standing together in this. Community members and activists all the way from New York made the trip to raise awareness. The issue that we have with Chief Conrad is just the lack of oversight within the department. The men and women of the LMPD did not feel supported by this administration. Though Chief walk, Conrad's walk, retirement walk. comes in the you middle know, of Breonna Taylor's high profile case, FOP president of River City Lodge Ryan heard. Nichols says the chief's exit is what they've all been expecting for a while. We congratulate him on his retirement and he has you know, served 40 years in law enforcement. So for him to say he's retiring doesn't necessarily surprise me, no. He says almost all LMPD officers are hungry for change and new leadership. We think that leader needs to have a clear vision, be courageous, have integrity and honesty, humility and a clear focus. In 2016, an FOP vote showed an overwhelming amount of members had no confidence in Chief Conrad, and, and, and again, citing a spike I, I in I homicides as one of the concerns. I can't lay all of that at the feet of the chief, obviously, but the chief of a department our size needs to be able to have a clear vision and develop ways to address those those crime spikes, whatever they may be. Sanai Gabriel WHAS 11 News. In a statement released online today, the state FOP president says Mayor Fisher is responsible for threats and violence toward police. Burl Purdue says, quote, Louisville Metro police officers were undoubtedly at the correct address as shown on the warrant. The officers knocked and announced themselves for a period of time before forcing entry into the residence and being met with gunfire. The repeated knocking was confirmed by Kenneth Walker during an interview with investigators. Purdue goes on to say the false reports have further divided the community from police. Rumors and misnomers have led to death threats and to officers and to their families. The failure of Mayor Greg Fisher and LMPD Chief of Police Steve Conrad to stop the false narrative when they had the information to do so has exacerbated the problem. And you can read the full statement right now on whas11.com.